Hey guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut, and today I'm gonna to teach you everything you need to know about how to aerate your lawn. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is learn how to get this puppy started up. So first thing is you gotta secure your aerator. We got ours from our local tool rental shop and you're gonna pay anywhere from 15 to $20 per hour with a three to four hour minimum. So every aerator is gonna be a little different, but most are pretty similar. So the first thing, look for the master on off switch and turn that to on. Next, there's a fuel shut off on almost all of these. Just make sure that the fuel is not shut off. And then finally set your choke. Now you're ready to go, give her a pull. If it's tuned right, it'll start on the first pull every time. Last thing you have is your throttle. This one happens to be located up near the handle. Turn that sucker wide open. Now there's two handles you're gonna need to be concerned with here. One is the drive handle, which you see me here, and what it does is it basically spins the tines, which makes the aerator self-propelled. And then the other one is the drop handle, and what that does is it actually pulls the wheels up and sets the tines down into the ground so they can pull a core. Now, the next thing I want you to realize is the machine is gonna jerk when you start. So you have to be ready. I don't want you to hold it back. I want you to be able to run with it. Again, it's gonna jerk hard because you have these tines dug into the ground and several horsepower pulling them out. Now, another thing you need to understand is how to actually execute a turn. This is not a zero turn mower, so you can't do any kind of tight curves with it. You really should just do straight lines until you're more experienced. So what you do is when you get to the end of the run, you let off of the drive lever, pull up the tines, then use the drive to help you spin the machine, drop the tines back down and go. I'm gonna replay this a couple times for you so you can see how to do this. But again, the key here is don't try to make turns. Go straight lines and go back and forth. Okay, now one thing I want you to do is, after you make a couple passes, I want you to check your core length. We wanna make sure that we're pulling a good core. We wanna get at least two inches or more, so let's take a look at what we're getting. There's a core. I'll take that. That's pretty good. You know, they're all gonna be, you know, perfect. But you can see here, I'd like to see a little deeper, but here we're in the sunny part of the lawn. Soil's fairly moist too, so that's good. We go to the shadier part, or where actually where the lawn is more wet, down here you'll see the cores are even larger, a little bit longer. And that's just because the soil's a little wetter here, so the ground's softer. Okay, so now that we know we're pulling good cores, it's just a matter of going in a grid. So just pretend like you're mowing the lawn. You don't need to do any major overlap here, but you definitely don't want to miss any areas either. All the way through, back and forth, back and forth. awesome I know what you're thinking we're all done the answer is no now we have to go the other way double pass aeration double the holes double the results that's right you rented this sucker we're gonna go ahead and double aerate more cores pulled means better results so you might as well go double pass aeration while you're out there you go guys that's it that's how you use an aerator and that's how you aerate your lawn now of course, there's a lot of other things you can do, and I'll link to some other videos in the description where I show you about applying seed, malorganite, starter fertilizer, and other good stuff in conjunction with your aeration. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. If you like lawn tips, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the lawn.